Hi, this is Erika Kasab from a small robot studio. In this video, I'll show you how to paint your models only using Nomad Sculpt. No Procreate needed at all. This technique covers both high and low resolution meshes. There are two ways to assign colors to a model, vertex paint and UV maps. When we use the paintbrush in Nomad, we are assigning a color to each point. The color of each face in your model is an average of the points that surrounds it. This is known as vertex paint. The resolution depends on the amount of polygons your model has. The more points, the more detail it can hold. The problem with vertex paint is that high resolution models are not production ready. They are not usable for animation or a game engine. In other words, the surface has too many divisions. So how does a model like this one carry so much detail? This is where the second type of color application comes in handy, UV texture maps. This process requires flattening our model and assigning an image to it. Think of the wrapper of the Christmas chocolate. The key difference with vertex paint is that the resolution depends on the image used not the model itself. Now that we know this, let's paint the little Korok that I sculpted on my last video. I actually recommend painting before posing your models, so you can take advantage of symmetry. Next, make sure that you are using PBR as your shading mode. Preferably, pick one with white lights, so you don't have extra environment colors tinting your choices. For extra control, I'll work with layers. You'll see shortly why this is handy. Open the layer menu and tap on Add Layer. I'll name this dark, because I'll start with the darkest color. Now open the material menu. Let's pick a base color, like a mid-tone brown. I've got a preview here, and when I pick a color, it's also going to show temporarily on my model. Materials aren't just color. A blue object can be made of plastic, metal, even clay. There's more elements that differentiate materials, like roughness, which defines how polished or reflective a surface is. Another one is metalness, which we don't really need for the Korok because it's not really made of metal. I'll keep my roughness on the higher side and tap on Paint All. Perfect, I'll make another layer where I will paint the lighter colors. Time to paint! The default brush is going to give you a sharpish line. If you wish to erase, use this button on the side. It reverses what any brush does. Note how we are not erasing the base color, just the spots. This is because we have them on different layers. I began hyper-focusing on a small area, which I started polishing right away. I actually recommend the opposite. Start loose. Don't worry about being super precise or having the cleanest lines. A rough first pass will give you an idea of how it looks as a whole and help you see what works or doesn't. The spots of a Korok are asymmetrical rings. They change width and swirl a little. There are no straight lines or sharp corners. All endings are rounded. Creating precise lines can be difficult if you don't have a stylus or simply your pulse is shaky. To help out, inside the stroke menu, use Stroke Smooth and the Lazy Rope Stabilizer. The first one will automatically smooth lines. The second one will give your brush a delay, as if you were pulling it with a rope. I generally use small values, but experiment what works best for you. Alright, I quite like the shapes but I'm not yet convinced with the color. I'll choose the base layer and pick a slightly lighter color. Once again, tap on Paint All. Now, to modify the top layer, we need to mask what we painted. This is gonna be terrible to do by hand, but don't worry, I have a better method. Let's open the Layers menu. Select the top layer, tap on the three dots, and next to Color, tap on Mask. This is going to automatically select whatever you have painted. This wouldn't be possible if we didn't separate by layers. If you haven't already, select Mask Tool, 
you have the shortcut here on the left. Open the mask options on the top right. Select invert. Choose a new color. Paint all. Back to the mask menu and clear. Easy peasy. Before I move on, I want to take a moment to thank our amazing Patreon supporters. You guys are the best. Thank you very, very much. Our supporters gain access to a growing library of assets. That includes bonus videos, retopologized models, and even this hand-painted matcap that makes your sculpts look as part of a Zelda game. Learn more about it at patreon.com slash smallrobotstudio. Let's go back to painting. I mentioned earlier that the default brush will give you a sharp edge. This is because it uses a square alpha. If I change this to no alpha or a blurred one, the edge will be soft. But maybe I want some texture. Notice this hatching that shows in the game. I'm gonna pick the lines alpha and the light color. I'll make a layer on top and paint a few of this. Not too many. This is a small accent, like adding salt to a dish. Too much will spoil it. How about a bit of color variety? Flat colors can be boring. I'll pick a dotty alpha that I made and in the stroke menu increase the spacing. Let's pick a color just a slightly different from the base. I'll paint on the base color layer. The settings allow me to make a nice subtle variation. Now for a soft gradient light effect. I'm gonna reset my paintbrush. I will make another layer on top, pick a darker color, make my brush big and reduce the intensity. With this I'll softly paint some ambient occlusion. In other words, the shadows created in the least exposed areas. Make sure to keep this very subtle. Now, earlier in this video, I mentioned that in order to use this model outside of Nomad, we need to optimize and UV this mesh. We can do this manually, using Cozy Blanket in the iPad, or with Blender on a PC. But the point of this video is to use only Nomad. So if you don't have any of this, don't worry, fear not. Let's make a duplicate, rename with underscore low, delete the layers, so we can proceed to decimate and UVing. Let's open the topology menu and the fourth tab, miscellaneous. At the bottom, turn on solo and wireframe. I want to reduce this number from 1.5 millions to roughly 5k. Turn off preserve painting and set target triangles to a lowish number. Then tap on decimate. You will have to repeat this process a few times. Every time you do it, make sure that you look around your model to make sure that the details are preserved and no shapes are being deformed. Once we're happy with this, I'm gonna head to the next section, UV Unwrap, and simply tap in Unwrap. Great, our model has been flattened and we can apply an image to it. For the final step, find the Bake Texture section, choose the resolution that you want, and type on From High Res. This is going to take the material information from the high resolution version and apply it to the UV map. On the top material menu, under textures, you'll find these images. For a more in-depth explanation, I have a video that covers this process. Let me show you another trick. I painted the Korok facelift into a flat plane. I'm gonna mask this paint. This is quite easy since I did it on a layer. I'll select the mask tool and invert it. Next, I'm gonna create a lower resolution plane. Before baking the textures, open settings and make sure to activate mask opacity. Let's bake and voila! The mask areas have turned transparent and this face couldn't be more optimized. Perfect, we have texture UVs from our vertex paint. To make changes, you will need to modify the original and bake the paint again. Anyway, our little guy is all done. As always, feel free to share with us your work through social media. I am honored for all the work that I received and excited to add yours into the collection. Anyway, I will see you soon in a new tutorial. Happy painting! That's it for today's lesson. 
Let us know what you think in the comment section. And if you found the video useful, make sure to hit like so more people can find it. Subscribe for more videos and activate the bell icon to be notified about the newest tutorials. Join our Patreon to earn rewards and help us create more content.